long time no see, I guess. Uh, we did a move. I moved from Denver to Las Vegas, so I'm setting up. I used to be in the basement gym. I had a lot of room. Um, now I'm in uh, the double car side of a three car garage, and the place is a mess right now, but I hope to get it straightened up, everything looking good, at least have stuff kind of put together now. But uh, real brief, real short review, I promise. I just wanted to show you guys. I picked up a, a pair of these stabilizer feet from Titan Fitness. Uh, I don't know if I'm in the way, but these things sell for $69.99. I think I paid $63. Maybe there was a sale or something like that that I got, but uh, I didn't pay the $69.99. Or maybe we've got inflation. I know we have inflation, but uh, anyway, I had gotten a pair of these from my son. I saw them online, ordered them for Christmas, uh, one of his gifts, and uh, he put it on his T3 rack, but they're for the T3 rack and the X3 rack both. And so I ordered a pair for myself because I like the way his looked and the way they were set up, really stabilized. He's like me, he likes to do stuff on the safety arms out in front of his rack, uh, shoulder presses and things like that. I like to sometimes bench out there, I don't know why. Sometimes I'll slide my bench out there, put my J hooks up here and use the uh, safety catches out front. I don't know if any of you guys do that. And also uh, my seal roll plank, I have been using it here on the pipe safeties but now I have that option for whatever reason that I could put it on my, my safety arms, just lay the plank on there. Sometimes it's easier getting in and out that way. And uh, doing seal rolls, of course I have to lower it down, but uh, pretty simple. But anyway, these things are, they do what they're supposed to do. I'm 24 inches inside of my posts on my rack. I think it's 30 inches to the outside. Yeah, 30 inches to the outside of the rack. And uh, so the rack to me, I never had it bolted in, and I always worried that if I put a lot of weight on these safety arms out front, I could get in a kind of a tippy situation with it. I never took it that far, but uh, if that's a concern of yours. Now, I am missing on this rack. I had a, a cross member bar on the bottom here. I haven't put it on because I've been doing the incline off of this rack. Um, and I may decide to drill a hole in the floor and put the bolts in and anchor it down, but so far I haven't done that. But I'll hop up on this uh, plank, just like that, not bad for an old 63 year old man. And uh, you can see, they work. So for 69 bucks, if you need something like that and you feel your rack's in kind of a tippy situation because it's a narrow rack, something you might want to consider. Could even be something that you could get and use on another manufacturer's rack, although you have to maybe do some modifications to it to do that. But I like them, so I just thought I'd show them to you. You guys have a great day. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know if this is legal to do this, but uh, first guy that tells me who is on the cover of Muscle Power Magazine May 1951, I'll send you a little prize, a little charm bracelet. It says choose strength on it, if you want something like that. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Mac, Max Jim, be watching for me. I'll be back. Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit better view of this thing without me being in your way. But the stabilizer feet, they're uh, 27 inches out to the very tip of that uh, anchor plate on the very end. And they're made out of 2 by 2 inch steel tube. Two bolts for attachment. And uh, again, you may be able to use these on another manufacturer's rack. Although you may have to modify, hone out your your spacing on your your plates or modify the plate completely and do different hole spacing on it but you know we're all pretty resourceful if we decide we have a need for something like that so and again I am still getting set up but it's gonna it's gonna get there it's just gonna take time and hopefully put out some more videos
Have a great day, guys.